Hi, Dr. Winter. Hi, Allie. So we're talking about childhood anger. Why does anger happen when you're young? It happens when something unfair has just occurred. It happens when we don't get what we want. And it happens when we feel trapped or helpless. Do you remember a time when you were younger and you got angry? Yes, actually. When I was a freshman in high school, there was this boy that I really liked, and I would come home every day and tell my mom about him, and then he asked me to the prom, and I was so excited, and then when I told my dad, he pretty much said, you're not going to the prom with him, he's way too old for you. I just flat out was not allowed to go. Wow, how'd you feel? I was devastated, just confused and angry, disappointed, you know, all of those things. How long did it take for that to happen? all those feelings. Oh, it was instantaneous in a snap. Yeah, that's what happens with anger. It happens in a flash. So let's look at this graph. It starts at the bottom where we're basically not angry. There's an inciting incident. It tips up a little bit. Then it zooms up and then it sort of flattens out at the end. At the end is basically we're at a 10. We cannot possibly be any angrier than that. The question is how long does it take to go from like 0 to, to 10? It, it happens so fast. So this little curve up is a fraction of that. That's the time that we can act. We could actually interrupt our regular pattern of getting angry and choose not to get angry. We could, we could take a deep breath and as it's about to curve up, it could curve back down again. So what problems do we see in childhood that are caused by anger? Lots of times a child who's angry is gonna display that anger with the family at home. So let's say here's a child here Here's the family. If the angry child acts on the family, there could be a temper tantrum, there could be yelling, there could be all types of uh, behaviors that are a problem. What's going to happen? The family may drop everything and give total attention to the angry child. So even though it may be negative and there may be yelling you know, back towards the child, it doesn't matter. It's still very strong attention. So what we have to work on is the family here, the child here, the family has to react differently to the angry child. It's action, reaction. It's a system. It's a, it's a behavioral loop and it's positively reinforced. Parents don't realize it necessarily, but that's what's happening. We have to break the cycle here and then the child will change their behavior as well. So it may take a couple of weeks, but consistency, consistency, consistency. Great. Well, thank you. This was really helpful. Sure. You're welcome, Allie.